Hi, I'm Christine McKay, and welcome to My Craft Studio. Um, I think you probably recognize our guest today. She's, she's been around a little bit. This is Miss Lori Allred, who has um, Inspired by Pinterest right here on the channel. And, you know, when Lori uh, pitched me doing this show, I was very uh, resistant about my, it. My show or your show? My show. Oh, this yes, is my she was. show. This isn't yours. I know. Okay. <sighs> Just kidding. <laughs> I was very resistant about it. I know you guys are, you know, you see me every day with the featured buy. So I was, um, you know, I was a little resistant to it. However, when I finally agreed to it, I told Lori that the catch was that you had to be a guest. Yeah, I forgot about that part, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So one of the reasons why we do this is for you to get kind of a behind the scenes look at some of the people here on the channel and get to know them a little bit more on a personal level. So, um, Miss Lori's here, and I just want to start off by saying she has been with my craft channel since the very beginning, and I say this over and over again that I uh, could not have done this without her, and I kind of went from being like a nice little crafter to now this like crazy raging business. Uh, it's okay. You it's true though, right? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she has been through the thick and the thin with everything. And what I always tell people about Lori, the reason why I wanted her with My Craft Channel is uh, she's so good at, at social media and the blogging community. And I used to always say that she was kind of like the mafia, that she could take oh. anybody out with one tweet. Yeah, oh no, not true. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, and having been in scrapbooking so long, I've known a lot of people and getting to know a lot of people through blogging. So it's a lot of fun. So Lori, tell, tell our viewers something about yourself or about kind of your background in crafting or why you do it that maybe they don't know. Oh my gosh, I've been crafting since I was little. I used to have a space underneath the stairs in the basement that I'd cut out construction paper, and glue it together. And so scrapbooking when I had my first child was a natural fit for me. I was a toll painter, weren't we all? Um, we transitioned into scrapbooking. Were you like cutting out baby bottle pictures, you know, of your kids' pictures? Uh, and oh yeah, when you do the silhouette of them. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, we'll never show those to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, and I, I just, I've loved to watch crafting in general, just the transition of it. I'm not a really good seamstress, so mm -hmm. I tend to, I sew on paper very well, but fabric not so much. When I was younger though I did. I used to make my own leggings and skirts and stuff in high school. They used to call me Helma Homemaker. <laughs> in high school because I could cook and you sew. You should have never told me that. Uh oh, I know <laughs> and my friends from high school are going to be laughing their <laughs> tushes off. Anyway, so it's just always been a passion of mine and my mother laughs that she's like, you have a bachelor's in communications. I always tell her BS in communications and I teach scrapbooking. I love teaching. I love crafting. So, you know, it's a natural fit. I can. It is. And here at the channel, you get a chance to do a little bit of everything. Oh, yes. Lori, a little bit of everything. <laughs> Lori's actually our marketing director, our programming director. Graphic designer Graphic a design. Bit. I mean, you, got, you do a little bit of everything. A little customer service. Yeah. And, tell, and you host a show here on the channel. What's I that love, about? well, I have a little a little obsession with Pinterest, and she heard me talk about it a lot. And I came up with this idea. We contacted Pinterest to find out if it was okay. We could get their support. They loved it. Um, and then it was a matter of finding a host equally as obsessed with Pinterest as me. So I don't know how I got talked into it. but I Because love I don't know anybody that's more obsessed with Pinterest than I Lori. Just, well, you know, and Pinterest is just the place where you gather all the ideas. It's really the bloggers that create the amazing mm -hmm. projects. It makes it so much easier to find those. Mm -hmm. And I love being able to spotlight the, blo the bloggers because I know how much work goes into creating those projects. So I love being able to spotlight them and then show you, like who doesn't want to know, one that I haven't done yet is how to create those cool water features with PVC pipe and the marshmallow guns. Yeah. I'm going to figure that out. So that's going to be an <laughs> episode. So I love that I get to try a little bit. You know what I love about you, Lori, is that you, like the difference between you and I, is it you're a sharer? You're a giver. I, I love like you love to share <laughs> your pins. You like to, and for me, All it's like thirteen thousand of them. <laughs> I never pin anything because I'm always like, well, then people will know what I'm like going to make next. You know, and I have friends that'll call, hey, so you're doing one on jars because they'll see a whole bunch of pins about jars. I'm like, eventually I'll get there. But and I love getting the feedback from viewers. I just taught at an event um, for Teresa Collins, and I had so many people talk to me about how I'm an enabler, and it's cost them a lot of money because I've shown you every. Everything from refashioning a shirt to redoing, um, repurposing a cabinet door. Sculpty to clay, like sco everything. Oh, Sculpty clay is my new one. Yeah, I love that. So yeah, I have a lot of fun. So every time I grumble that it's just one more thing to do, I come and film for the show and then I remember how much I love sharing. And you're, you're a giver. Okay, so just to wrap it up, we're going to play a little game. A little okay. game called Rapid Fire. 
Let's see. Okay, first uh -oh. question. Who is the most bestest, favoritest boss you've ever had? Well, it'd have to be you. Okay, all right. That's not a fair question because that's just obvious. <laughs> uh, okay, next, next question. What is your theme song? Everybody has a theme song. It depends on what I'm doing at the moment. Um, anything from pink, usually I can rock to. So yeah, um, I, I hear a lot of One Direction around my house, so I could probably find a One Direction song in the moment. Um, when I really um, f feel the need to go deep, I listen to some Adele. So I don't know that ah. I have any one song, although I, I Tumble For You comes up a lot when I fall down and that old culture yep. club yep. type song. I don't know why. And let's see. What would you say is your guilty pleasure? And if you say honey boo boo, I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, Just no. kidding. <laughs> that show scares me. Uh, reality TV by far. Um, I've been a huge Survivor fan since it launched. You know, it's on its 25th season. I've never missed a season. I've never missed a show. I've met some of the people on it. Um, Nalia Dennis, I've met her. And uh, you know, I get, I even have scrapbook pages about Survivor. <laughs> I've even been published in a magazine about my reality TV obsession that I made a scrapbook of. So yes, definitely reality TV. And I do have limits on what type of reality TV, but no, I like the competition it. ones. She just is saying that. And Bachelor. So. <laughs> <laughs> Lori, thank you so much for swinging by. And you know, we have such a great group here at Minecraft Channel, so it's kind of fun for you get to get to know um, their personalities behind the scenes as well. So anyway, Lori, thanks a lot. Now You're get welcome. back to work. Great. Okay. All right. See ya. <laughs>